Hi everyone, welcome to another AnyPoint Code Builder short video. My name is Alex Martinez, I am a developer advocate at MuleSoft, and today we are going to see a preview of the new functionality to run existing MUnit tests using the UI. All right, so we have a very basic project here. We have an HTTP listener, a logger, and a choice. So in the choice, if our payload is true, is going to set up some payload saying the expression is true. And if our payload is false, then the set payload is going to be the expression is false. Finally, we will have a logger. Now for the M units, we have two different test suites. One is having four different tests and the other one is having just one test. So how do you open them? Very simple with this tab right here that is for testing. This is a tab that is natively included in Visual Studio Code. This has not been added just for any point code builder, which is very cool because all of your tests will be under the same tab. So here we can see that we have our two different test suites and we have our five different tests. Here at the top, we can see some buttons like refresh tests, run tests, debug tests, run tests with coverage and show output. We can also see here more views and actions that you can personalize. If you hover over some of your test suites or your tests, you can also see that you can run them, debug them, or go to the test, AKA open the XML view. So for example, if I want to open this test suite, I can click on this button and it will open the XML view. You can also run all of the tests with this green button right here, right next to the test, or you can right click on it to see more options like run test, debug test, and so on. So let's start by running all of the test suite. Simply click here on the button at the top to run all of the different test suites and all of the different tests. After some minutes, you will be able to see the build failure because there is one failed test that was intended. You will also be able to see here what is the expression that we got and what is the expression that was expected. So the expected was to receive one, two, three, for example, and the actual expression that we received was the expression is false. So let's clear all of the results. You can also run just one single test suite by clicking on this button right here, just like that. Now we have a build success because we only run one test suite and we can also run just one single test instead of the whole suite. So by clicking right next to the test. There we go. Now let me run all of the tests one more time. And now let's click on this show output button. With this option, we will be able to see a summary of all of the different runs that we have done. Because we were clearing all of the other results, we don't have all of the tests, but we did run the payload is false once right here. And after that, we run all the tests one more time with this test run. Here you can see that all of them were a success except for the failed test. So if you click on the fail test, you will be able to see one more time what is the expected and what is the actual result. To go back to the whole result, simply come here and click on the show output button again. Now let's see the different views that you can use. You can sort all of the tests by status. So all of the failed tests will be on the top and the successes will be on the bottom. Or you can sort by location, which is what we had earlier where the test suite is separated. You can also view everything as a list, so only the list of the tests instead of having them grouped. Or you can just see them as a tree as we had before. Let's clear all of the results again. Now let's learn how to debug a test. If we go to the payload is true and open the XML view, let's add a breakpoint at the first set payload. And let's also add a breakpoint in the set payload here that we have inside the choice. So now you can click on the debug test right here next to the test that we want, or we can also go here, right click on it and click on debug test. Once the debug mode starts, you will be able to see this control bar right here where you can continue, you can step into, sorry, step over, step into, step out, restart or stop. In this case, it was stopped right here in the set payload from the test suite. So if we click on continue, we will now be able to see that it stopped in the set payload, in the first set payload, meaning that this expression is going to be true. We can also go right here 
on the left and here we have the mule message and we can confirm that the payload is true. Now let's just press on continue to finish the test. And ta-da! Our payload is indeed true and this was a success.